On its website, the UNHCR or the UN Refugee Agency says it is dedicated to saving lives, protecting rights, and building a better future for refugees, forcibly displaced communities, and stateless people. The situation at the agency's office in New Delhi, Vasant Vihar, however, paints a different picture. Over the past several weeks, refugees from Afghanistan, Iraq, Congo, Sudan, Myanmar, and many other countries have been camping on the street outside the office. They say that the agency has turned a blind eye to their complaints and refused to hold a dialogue with them. On Tuesday, the 2nd of November, the protesters began raising slogans seeking a response. The authorities called the police who beat up several protesters, severely hurting some, and detained three, a man from Iraq, a woman from Congo, and another woman from Afghanistan. News Click talked to the refugees at the scene. For four months, we are sleeping here. No food, no money, no shelter. And in the rain, in the sun, and in the cold, we are here. And when we ask for food, Nobody give us food, nobody us give shelter, nobody give anything. We try to talk to them. We call a UNCR to come and talk to us because we have been here since one uh, week. We are sleeping here down. So we talk, please tell us even hope. When I come here to find peace, they call police to tear my cloth. I did not do anything. I just want to talk to UN office to know what is happening and to fight for my life, my light. I'm a refugee since 2014. Uh, we came here uh, to uh, protesting in uh, front of the UNHCR to get uh, one of the office to speak with us. But uh, since four months we are here, nobody come to talk with us. And they are give us just fool's hope. Only appointment come in this, there, there is no action, just word. We want the action. So today we was you know, the people here for a month, there is people uh, for us stating because COVID-19 has started and there is no job, no work, no money has hit on the all of the earth. So we understand that, but uh, the frustrating which we, it's on the people, push them to uh, raise our voice, to let them hear what they are, want to talk them, what we want to say for them. So that reason they are starting like this and all this happening, the police came and they took us and they used violence against the, our sister and against our, my, our brothers and they took him to police station. That reason we are protesting here to let uh, Oscar, he's the, uh, the protection officer, he should come and talk with us. UNHCR has some provision and that there are rules for protection of the refugees. But this office, they are not following. They are coming for four months, for several months, uh, asking them that the, the, this dharna is for four months, and they are not listening. They told us that India country is a safe country. That is why we came here. But on the wrong run, what they told us is not what we saw. I am asking for resettlement because I have been here seven years without any, any nationality and any document. I cannot work. I used to open one salon in Sector 39 in Gurgaon. But the police, when, when they asked me about my visa, I showed them my UNHCR card and they just threw it on me and just kicked me out from the shop and they took all my stuff. Now that's, that's why I don't have any hope to, to go anywhere and I need help from them, but there is, there is no, no hope. They are not giving any hope. They ask us to go and work. How can we work? We have no legal documents. We have no, we are not speaking the language of the country and we are black. Nobody can accept us anyway. Racism is my own problem up to now like i can't get a job if i want to work i have my two arms i am healthy i have my two legs i can't get a job because i'm african because i'm black so some of them have got cards their stipends have been uh, blocked for some time they are not even paying them and they should take care of this. At least they should listen to them. No, they are not listening. They are not talking to them. 
they just show off in the media and the international conference to protect Afghan refugee, to ask for women rights for Afghan women. But here in India, I'm here, I'm Afghan woman under their control. I ask for education, right? They laugh on me. They said your expectation is high. They are ready to debate with Taliban more than six months. But they are not ready to come to me just for five minutes talk to me. Indian government also have a duty, not only UNHCR, since they are here in India, Indian government must prevail upon this UNHCR to do something for them. We have done so many uh, help, so many refugees during 80s, 70s, uh, these Afghan wars there, Afghans were there, Iraqis had been there, we were helping them. But now, for some time, for seven, eight years, these people uh, have uh, just wandering in wilderness. That even the Indian government, which must do something for them, they are not doing. Our demand was very simple and clear: that we want to meet the chief mission, because we have no trust in Indian officers, because they are not humanitarian officers. They are only officers working for salary, like a robot. You have to treat us like human and give us help. And today, today they call us the police and the police has beaten us, has beaten us like animals. The dogs have a rights. The dogs without speak, they are giving them food. They give them uh, like treatment in the, in the street. We are lower than dogs. We are lower than animals. We are sitting here, nobody talk with us, nobody responding to us. Who called the police? It's a big question. So from here, we want to know the relation between UNCR and Indian government. Where is the Indian government? Where is the solution? Where is the solution? They have to talk to the police, not touch the refugee. Ladies or gents, nobody. We are human beings. We are here for our rights, our families in our country that are dying, like nothing in Congo, Sudan, South Sudan, Myanmar, Iraq. We are dying. UN, if they don't want use, let them take us back home. Because right now I don't have house. Right now I don't have where to sleep. Right now I don't have what to eat. Right now I don't have anything. Only what I get is insult. And uh, this is not the first time I went there. This is the fifth time that uh, they bring, they took me from this uh, this place because I'm protesting here, and they always took me to the police station without any reason. The reason just because I need my right. That's what I need, and I'm not a criminal to catch me like that and put me on the car like any 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 criminal they did with them. Please, I am refugee. Under Article 21. All persons, that, that, that is the duty of the Indian government to, to, to protect their lives, liberties, their dignity. Every, every, even foreigners are entitled to this. So Delhi government or Indian government, they have a duty to do this. You know? But they are, they, are, I mean, they are abdicating their duty. Uh, we came just to speak with officer, like my brother already said, but they didn't come out. Instead, they called the police, and the police was not here to protect us, it was here to beat us down. They kicked me! I have one kidney! And I am little blind! They kicked me! They feed me like animal and give me a galiabat. What galiabat did here? I cannot say here. NewsClick tried to contact the UNHCR India office and the Delhi police for a response, but has not received any yet.